Vincent Chagneau, Société Générale's Global Head of Rate Strategy, joins us now. And of course, I guess the, the key focus for bond markets today, that meeting between Merkel and Sarkozy, the first of the year, what do investors want to see from them? Well, obviously, as you said, they, they, they are going to, uh, to focus on the uh, fiscal rules, on the budget rules. I think those are very much necessary. Uh, the market needs to be reassured that we're going to have a new framework in Europe that will ensure fiscal discipline. But I don't think this is sufficient enough anymore because of the uh, negative feedback loop that we have right now uh, where the uh, tighter fiscal policy is causing uh, an aggravation of the uh, recession in a number of countries and that makes it even harder to reach the, the, the fiscal target. So it's all well to um, to decide about policies that would ensure uh, a fiscal credibility. This is essential. But at that stage of the crisis, unfortunately, I don't think this is uh, enough anymore. So is there anything they can do to arrest the feedback loop, the loop, I should say, the negative feedback loop that you describe? Well, basically, as you run a tighter fiscal policy, um, you weaken the uh, economy, at least in the near term. You have a decline in fiscal receipt, uh, more uh, spending towards unemployment, for example. And therefore, you need to add, again, to the austerity yeah. uh, to compensate for the weaker economy. So something else needs to be done. That needs to be either bigger fiscal transfers uh, within Europe, but we know that there is uh, uh, enormous political resistance against that, or a bigger action from the ECB. And I think that's where the market is uh, hoping for some action, but obviously that's not going to be for this week. Is that what we need to see from, do we need to see something more substantial for the ECB to convince bond investors to buy into European sovereigns? I think so. Um, I think in any case, the ECB soon uh, will be in quite an uncomfortable situation because inflation is now going to start to fall in, in Europe, and we expect that by spring, inflation will be around 2%, and, and, and then below 2%. So the ECB will face a situation where the recession is deepening, inflation is falling below the targets, yet the ECB will no longer be in a position to cut rates because rates will be floored very near 0%. So the separation principle that they have applied uh, so far where they use a rate tool to address the primary inflation target, and they use the non-conventional tool to uh, ease to uh, improve the transmission of policy, that separation principle somehow will no longer apply because no more conventional tool will be available to address the falling inflation. Maybe at that stage, maybe at that stage, the ECB could uh, admit that it needs to apply the non-conventional tools toward the primary target, and that could be possibly a game changer. Unfortunately, the rise in oil prices, uh, the fall in the euro, are going to delay also to slow down the fall of inflation, and that could make the ECB a bit more cautious uh, towards making that very significant change. In the meantime, I'm afraid that the markets are going to stay very nervous because we do not have a nuclear policy action right now that could change sentiments. You say that a downgrade on France's AAA rating is imminent. Why is that, and what would the implications be for the EFSF? Well, I'm, I'm not going to speculate on, on that right now. We know that SNP uh, is going to update its uh, sovereign rating for European countries uh, in January, so most likely in the next two weeks. Uh, they have delayed that already. They were supposed to provide that update in December. They didn't. Obviously, this is a, a very important decision. Uh, the concerns, of course, is that a number of countries uh, are under review for a double uh, downgrade, and we fear that those countries uh, could see a downgrade of maybe one notch. And obviously, that would have some collateral damage. In particular, we know that uh, uh, the lending capability of the uh, EFSF could decline. Uh, the EFSF today is at the center of the uh, rescue mechanism. And of course, if its firepower mechanically diminishes because of some rating action, well, that, that vehicle, that tool will be even weaker. And the market will get concerned that uh, we're still short of, a, as I said, a nuclear uh, policy tool that could change sentiment. Victor Chagny, Society General's Global Head of Rate Strategy in Paris. Thanks very much.